Guys, it's been a long, strange trip to 40,000 subscribers, and I want to thank you. And now, let's look back at some best and worst of the junk man throughout the year. Hey, everybody. I'm Jonas Grumpy. <laughs> I'm just playing. I don't really wear these. I, I, I just got them in loot crate. Well, today, today we're going to take a look on behalf of Star Wars, Star Wars Junkie. Star Wars junk, junk dot the net. Suck a sand for long. Yes. Wait a minute. What one is Zuckus? What one is for long? Uh, Han Halt. Han Halt. Yo, Miss Marquis, baby. Are you down with it? Oh, gee, we got buttons. I don't know who the fuck gonna put a button on something. Man, that's bullshit right there. I hope you didn't pay for that shit, Brian. Hi everybody, it's Larry Wampa here, and it's time for another video rant. Why is Snaggletooth blue? Well, that's because Zeus Skywalker sold his land speeder at a really great price, and he didn't get to buy it, so it made him sad. <laughs> <laughs> From every revolution, now that's a poster. Hey guys, it's Star Wars Junkman back at you with a new video, and guess what? Look where I'm at. I'm out of the toy closet. Finally, my family would be so happy that I came out of the closet. There's no reason at all to add Farm Boy. You ready? That's right. Get another look at him real quick here. Try to get a little closer. Again, I don't want to disturb him. Let's see here. Okay. Hey, Marcus, your dad. Excuse me. Oh, oh, sorry. Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany, it's your dad. Honey, I blew up the kid actress Carrie Russell is rumored to be in talks for a role in the upcoming Star Wars Episode 9. Fans are excited and predicting this could be Ray's mother and maybe even Luke Skywalker's wife. Mara Jade. But what's the most likely scenario? She'll just be a boring character and a missed opportunity. Maybe it's time to talk about other toys. <laughs> or maybe it's time to just shut this all down. That's great. That's just fucking great, man. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? Now, Chuck, let me read those tweets before you send them out. Shut up, woman! Just tried to log into my Star Wars Junk Twitter account, and I'm suspended. Me, the Junk Man, suspended. What did I do? All I do is talk about Star Wars. Oh. What earthquake? The big one. Don't you remember? It was thrilling. Thrilling? Yes, it's the first time our bed has moved in years. <laughs> that's it right there. That's the camera I usually use. And that's it. Hey, and it's like, hey everybody, welcome to the junk room. I'm the junk man here to talk to you. Have you ever seen anything like this? A limited edition, people. I don't understand why aren't the phones ringing. Get it now. Scotty, going fast, and we have one more item right here. It's called Mafungo. Mafungo? If someone gave me Mafungo, i sprinkle some foot powder on it. <laughs> A rainbow Darth Vader coming out. Special edition. I believe this is Comic-Con only, like a lot of the stuff we're going to look at here. This is a limited edition, people. Limited edition. Finally, Darth Vader dies. It's about time. It's not about Luke or Han. It's because his life support system got zorded by the Emperor. That might have been the weakest moment of the film. It made me laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It was a good way to kill off Darth Vader. Nah, yeah, you would like something like that. Where they went a little too cheap with it. Mm -hmm. And they were trying to make them a little too cheap. Uh, right. The body looks really good, but it looks like right. they might have took the mold off maybe the um, classic monster books. You know what I'm talking about? 
I think every school library in the 80s had them. They were orange. At least the bind was orange, the back was orange, and on the front it was classic movie monsters. I want to talk to Trash Heap! Me and the Trash Heap had it up! Yeah, I come down in Frag Rock! Remember, remember those little uh, creatures on the sand? In the sand, what was their name? Sand People? Tusky Raiders? Yeah, I always wondered what they drink for breakfast. I bet they would drink Hump Mountain Dewback. <laughs> mm. I think it's just like in peace with money or something. Charlie and Biff Fatuna left Australia on the Oceanic Flight 815. And, as you can see, this is a rare box for a Star Wars VHS movie because it says Star Trek. Then he'll take uh, the little He-Man and he'll begin to yell those words by the power of Grayskull. Grayskull and he'll begin to throw spells on people. There he goes again, acting like he don't know what he's talking about. Uh, power, of, power of the Grayskull? Come on, dude. Well, I hope that guy was arrested. No, he joined up with you, but you gave him a good scalding. This future looks like a horrible place. Nipples! You know, Jerry, your, your mouth seems a little dry. Uh, can I get you some water or anything? No. Nope. Are you sure? It's cold. None. It's got ice in it. It's very refreshing. Nope. I made a rebel soldier. Made that probably in the mid-90s. Welcome back, everybody, to the new junk room. Still fooling with the, getting the lights in the right place, getting the camera at the right angle and everything. Uh, Larry, how was your weekend? Well, I tell you, it started out really good and everything, but then on Sunday night I found out that my mom threw away my best porno mag. Oh, hate when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here! Get out of here! No, I don't know that one. I don't know, but he's called Daddy. Daddy, I don't like this. Because <laughs> <laughs> I used to see the Flash movies. <laughs> that junk man is here. My favorite Star Trek character is Dr. Spock. Well, aren't you just funny? Hardy har har. Leave it there. Mm hmm. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't a fire with my stomach, what was that? <laughs> you heard it too? Find a ride back into town on Nuggets, Nuggets, Nuggets. <laughs> nuggets, accessories, and dusty riding outfit from Kenner. I can't wait to Okay, junk band, I know you're still watching. Hear it from me to you. Fuck off, okay? You're not welcome here. <laughs> I saw that he was headed toward the comic book store, and I knew it wasn't on his path for the day, so I followed him inside. There, I witnessed Larry buying a Thomas Riker figure that was worth about $5 for $10, and he left and put the $90 in his pocket. I can see him walking up on set and says, all Hogan wanted was a hot dog. <laughs> He's all mad as that, walking away. <laughs> I'm like, gotta, gotta make that shirt. A lot of crazy stuff on eBay and a lot of crazy prices. Yeah, I saw someone selling a Dr. Plansky trading card. Not just a trading card. It was the trading card that came with a Dr. Plansky figure. They didn't have the figure. They just had the trading card. I really could use that. All Hogan ever wanted was a hot dog. <laughs> That would have changed the 80s if we got his eye off. Larry. 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 Zippers. Oh, look at one of them. I know. Walking across the beach, y'all, man. <laughs> Jumpman will read a whole script, then I will read a few lines from that same script, and I'll get comments like, take it off, baby. Shake that furry tail. But I just want you to know one thing. Leave my man alone. You hear that, ladies? I'm taken. Have a nice day, y'all. Oh, who can ever want it? Was a hot dog? <laughs> Please, somebody make me a shirt, bro. <laughs> and this is when I logged on to find out I got a copyright strike. I'll put that right here. Uh, then was the copyright strike was issued uh, by Michael French over at Retro Blasting. Junk man is going to start getting hit with legal action because um, his behavior is 
His behavior is unlawful. He has shown a precedent for this, um, impersonating people's identities. <laughs> so fuck you, junk man. Fuck you. You're not going to get your ego struck here. No, you're not. Now, fuck you. Get out of here. Where's my palm all? How fair use is a right and should be treated with honor like a UK knight in shining armor. Wait, didn't you report the junk man like five times for using a small clip of one of your videos? Shut up, you corporate scumbag. That's different. I am the savior of the toy buyer. I am the god of the toy buying. I am the action figure gatekeeper. Thanks to me, the corporate empire will not be able to crush the little guys just for speaking against them. But isn't your channel much bigger than the Junkman's? Therefore, in the toy YouTube world, aren't you the corporate empire trying to silence smaller voices? You are now forbid to ever talk about me or my YouTube channel ever again. How do you open this thing? Why are these toys so complicated? Do you know, Bugsley? No, I don't really know, but can we wrap this up? I gotta shoot over Ryan's toy review I gotta do. Bugsley has no idea. I don't either. Cool. When she shows she stuff up close, it's supposed to be her point of view. But it's the exact yeah, same angle. It's, it's mind-boggling. It's like, why's everything at the top of the box? Nothing's at the bottom of the box. Once I closed the book, I knew Star Wars. I knew Star Wars. I knew Star Wars. I knew Star Wars. I knew Star Wars was no longer mine. You know who I am. So I'm here to tell you about the holiday special. Look, ho, 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 I dropped my hat just a second there. Mm. Can you believe it? They released a Mara Gibbs. Mara, Mara, Mara Gibbs, Mara. Was a hippie watermelon, was a watermelon hating hippie was a watermelon, was a, was it a watermelon hippie? Was it a watermelon, was it a watermelon hating hippie that got a, was it a water, was it a stand up comedian? Was it a watermelon, was it a hating, <laughs> okay, I try again. Was it a watermelon mating? Was it a watermelon, watermelon shit? Was it a watermelon hating stand-up comedian that got the first Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie made? Here's to Steve Trevor Dahl from the Wonder Woman collection. Can anyone say, can anyone, hey, can any of you, can any of you out there say peg warmer? If you go to one of the junk men, <laughs> he, man, he trolls all my friends on his live stream. <laughs> I remember that guy. I he dresses him. up like Doom <laughs> Cock and makes fun of Doom. Samurai Vader, what are your thoughts on that Star Wars junk band guy? Um, Star Wars junk band guy. You cannot take junk man seriously. I friend, know. Holy crap, do, people. If you do. Yeah, he's already won. If you take him seriously, you've won. Oh my goodness. Uh, this voice is... Uh, it's getting me. I'm really excited about it. The uh, I love the way it sounds like he's using his whole body and his sound. The junk man says I'm going to check. <laughs> the fuck? I wasn't expecting that one from junk man. I, a lot of, I wasn't expecting that one from him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I mean, yeah, I mean, does, doesn't everyone, you, doesn't everyone. Hey, jump man <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited <laughs> testimony. Oh no, somebody's busted my antenna. <laughs>